Vladimir Putin's Russia is a land of contradictions. His grip on power, spanning over two decades, has been marked by both admiration and condemnation. Supporters hail him as a strong leader who restored Russia's global standing. Critics denounce him as an autocrat who dismantled democratic institutions and ushered in repression. Understanding Putin's Russia requires grappling with these complexities, navigating a landscape where truth is often elusive and power is paramount. This essay delves into the controversial aspects of Putin's rule, examining electoral manipulation, suppression of dissent, and assertive foreign policy. Central to Putin's enduring grip on power are the allegations of electoral fraud that have plagued Russian elections for years. Critics argue that these elections are carefully stage-managed to ensure the desired outcome, with genuine opposition systematically sidelined. Independent election monitors have repeatedly raised concerns about the fairness and transparency of the electoral process. The 2012 presidential election, which saw Putin return to the presidency after a four-year stint as prime minister, was also marred by allegations of fraud. International observers noted numerous irregularities, including restrictions on media freedom and the harassment of opposition candidates. Despite these concerns, Putin won a comfortable victory securing a third term as president. Putin's hold on power has been further cemented through a series of constitutional changes that have concentrated power in the presidency and extended his potential rule. These changes have been met with both domestic and international scrutiny, as they represent a significant shift in the balance of power within the Russian government. One of the most significant constitutional amendments, passed in 2020, reset the clock on presidential term limits allowing Putin to potentially remain in power until 2036. This amendment effectively nullified the previous term limits, which were designed to prevent any one individual from holding the presidency for an extended period. By resetting the term limits, the amendment has given Putin the opportunity to extend his rule, which has raised concerns about the future of democratic governance in Russia. Critics argue that this move undermines the principles of democratic succession and the checks and balances that are essential for a healthy democracy. Critics argued that it undermined the principles of democratic succession and paved the way for Putin's indefinite rule. This has led to fears that Russia is moving towards an authoritarian regime where power is concentrated in the hands of a single leader. The amendment has also sparked debates about the legitimacy of such a move with many questioning whether it truly reflects the will of the Russian people. Some argued that the changes were pushed through without adequate public consultation or debate, raising concerns about the transparency and fairness of the process. Another controversial amendment granted former presidents lifetime immunity from prosecution, shielding Putin and his allies from potential legal accountability. This provision has been criticized for creating a culture of impunity, where those in power are not held accountable for their actions. Critics argue that this amendment effectively places Putin and his allies above the law, allowing them to act without fear of legal repercussions. This has raised concerns about the erosion of the rule of law in Russia and the potential for abuse of power. This provision, unprecedented in Russian history, effectively placed Putin above the law and further eroded the separation of powers. By granting lifetime immunity to former presidents, the amendment has created a legal shield that protects those who have held the highest office in the land from being held accountable for their actions. The erosion of the separation of powers has been a significant concern for many observers, as it undermines the checks and balances that are essential for a functioning democracy. Without these safeguards, there is a risk that power will become increasingly concentrated in the hands of a few individuals, leading to a more authoritarian form of governance. The cumulative effect of these constitutional changes has been to transform Russia's political system into one dominated by Putin and his inner circle. This concentration of power has raised concerns about the future of democracy in Russia and the potential for further erosion of democratic institutions and principles. As Putin consolidated his power, the space for dissent in Russia has shrunk dramatically. Opposition figures have been jailed, exiled or silenced through intimidation and violence. Independent media outlets have been shuttered or brought under state control. One of the most prominent victims of this crackdown is Alexei Navalny, a charismatic opposition leader who emerged as a thorn in Putin's side. In response, 
the Kremlin has repeatedly targeted Navalny with arrests, sham trials, and even an assassination attempt using a nerve agent. The crackdown on dissent has extended beyond high-profile figures like Navalny, affecting ordinary Russians who dare to speak out against the government. Control over information is crucial to maintaining power in Putin's Russia. The Kremlin has gone to great lengths to control the narrative, using state-controlled media to spread propaganda and discredit its opponents. State-controlled television channels, which reach a vast majority of the Russian population, function as mouthpieces for the Kremlin, disseminating pro-government propaganda and demonizing the West. Opposition figures are routinely depicted as Western puppets or traitors, seeking to undermine Russia's interests. Journalists who dare to criticize the government have been harassed, intimidated, and even physically attacked. The Kremlin's systematic efforts to silence critical voices have created an information vacuum, leaving many Russians reliant on state-controlled media for their news. Putin's foreign policy has been characterized by a desire to restore Russia's status as a great power and to reassert its influence in its near abroad. This assertive foreign policy has led to military interventions in Georgia, Ukraine and Syria, drawing international condemnation and sanctions. The 2008 war in Georgia marked a turning point in Russia's relations with the West. The annexation of Crimea from Ukraine in 2014 further escalated tensions between Russia and the West. Following the ouster of Ukraine's pro-Russian president, Viktor Yanukovych, Russia moved swiftly to seize control of the Crimean Peninsula. The annexation, condemned by the United Nations General Assembly as illegal, triggered a wave of sanctions against Russia and plunged relations with the West to their lowest point since the Cold War. The full-scale invasion of Ukraine in 2022 marked a turning point in global perceptions of Putin's Russia. The invasion, launched under the pretext of denazifying and demilitarizing Ukraine, was met with widespread international condemnation and unprecedented sanctions. The war has had a profound impact on the global order, shattering the illusion of peace in Europe and raising fears of a wider conflict. The United Nations General Assembly overwhelmingly voted to condemn the invasion, demanding that Russia immediately withdraw its forces from Ukrainian territory. The International Criminal Court, ICC, has opened an investigation into alleged war crimes and crimes against humanity committed in Ukraine. The war in Ukraine has had a devastating impact on the country, resulting in thousands of civilian casualties and displacing millions of people. The war in Ukraine has also exposed deep divisions within Russian society. While state-controlled media has largely parroted the Kremlin's narrative, portraying the invasion as a necessary measure to protect Russia's security interests, independent voices have condemned the war as a tragic mistake. Public opinion polls conducted since the start of the invasion suggest that a significant portion of the Russian population supports the war. However, it is important to note that these polls are conducted in a climate of fear and repression, where expressing dissent can have serious consequences. Despite the risks, thousands of Russians have bravely taken to the streets to protest the war, risking arrest and imprisonment. Putin's actions have reverberated far beyond Russia's borders, reshaping the geopolitical landscape and ushering in an era of heightened global tensions. The war in Ukraine in particular has had a profound impact on international relations, fracturing alliances, deepening divisions, and raising the specter of a new Cold War. The United States, the European Union and their allies have imposed unprecedented sanctions on Russia, targeting its economy, financial system and elite. These sanctions are designed to cripple Russia's ability to wage war and to pressure Putin to change course. However, the sanctions have also had a significant impact on the global economy, contributing to rising energy prices and inflation. The conflict has also raised questions about the effectiveness of international law and the mechanisms for holding aggressors accountable. The future of Russia under Putin remains uncertain. The war in Ukraine has plunged the country into economic and political turmoil, isolating it from the West and raising questions about its long-term trajectory. The economic consequences of the war in Ukraine are likely to be felt for years to come. Western sanctions have crippled key sectors of the Russian economy, leading to a sharp decline in living standards for many Russians. 
The exodus of foreign companies from Russia has further isolated the country from the global economy. The long-term impact of these economic shocks on Russian society remains to be seen, but they are likely to fuel discontent and instability. Vladimir Putin's legacy will be debated for generations to come. His supporters will point to his role in restoring Russia's global standing, strengthening its economy, and reasserting its influence on the world stage. His critics will condemn him as an autocrat who dismantled Russia's fledgling democracy, crushed dissent, and plunged the world into chaos by invading Ukraine. Putin's legacy will be forever intertwined with the war in Ukraine. The invasion, which has resulted in thousands of deaths and immeasurable suffering, will be seen by many as a grave error in judgment. Ultimately, Putin's place in history will be determined by the trajectory of Russia in the post-Putin era.